Howdy folks and welcome back to Pool School. If you are a pool owner and your pool is equipped with a DE slash diatomaceous earth filter, you are absolutely gonna to wanna to watch this video because in it I'm gonna tell you how to clear your pool of all that DE should you get a DE leak and it ends up filling your pool with DE. So what do you say we get to it? Alrighty folks, before we get started, I wanna thank you once again for watching this video. I remind you to like it if you do. Subscribe to my channel if you've not done so already, and please share my channel with everyone you know who owns a pool. Also, don't forget to check out my membership website, PoolSchooler.com. It's going to come across the bottom of the, or the top the middle of the screen right here, PoolSchooler.com. It is full with more exclusive members-only content that will help you save even more money servicing your pool yourself, including links to products that I actually use in my pool service. Okay, so like I said, this video is for anyone who owns a DE filter because if you do, it is just a matter of time before you end up with something dumping DE or before you notice DE in your pool. And again, there's a few reasons why that happens. The number one reason, I'll give you a couple reasons why. Number one reason is that you have one or more torn grids, okay? So again, one or more torn grids could cause your pool to DE to blow back into your pool once you backwash and recharge it. Okay, if that's the case, replace all the grids, all right? Uh, another reason is you could have a manifold that the grids set into in your filter, and that could be cracked, and that could cause that to happen as well. So those are the two biggest reasons. If you have an in-floor cleaning pop-up system that has a separate pump for the pop-ups, and you have a DE filter, if you're running that pop-up pump while you're recharging the system, the, the DE that you're pouring into the skimmer, part of that's gonna be sucked through the the pop-up pump, which does, which bypasses the filter, and that's gonna blow right back into your pool. So if you have a pop-up system with a DE filter that has a separate pump for the pop-ups, don't run that pump when you recharge your filter with DE, or you'll get blowback into your pool, okay? Okay, so I do apologize that I do not have any clients who currently have DE filters that have any, any issues with torn grids or things like that, but, um, it's really important that, that I teach you how to do it, but I can pretty much tell you how to do it rather than show you. And I'm certainly not gonna go and dump a bunch of DE in one of my clients' pools just to show you how to clean it out because I don't wanna make a mess of my clients' pools. Um, please remember, DE is something I don't like. Um, it is a health hazard. Uh, if it gets in your eyes, it's terrible. So you don't wanna swim in a pool that is loaded with DE, okay? And a lot of times people will have a issue with their DE filter. They'll have a torn grid or two torn grids or more. And, and then, they, then they end up backwashing and recharging and trying to backwash and recharge and they're just dumping more and more DE into their pool. So this process, these processes that I'm gonna to talk to you about depend on how much DE you've dumped into your pool. But I know one thing for sure. I'm going to assume that before you do this process at all, whatever is causing the DE to blow back into your pool, you've taken care of and fixed that problem. Again, typically 99% of the time, it's because you have one or more torn grids in your filter, in which case, replace the entire set of grids. Don't just replace one, replace the entire set because if they're all the same age, it's just a matter of time before the older ones start tearing and then you're nickel and diamond, you're gonna go through this process over and over. So get the entire grid system repa replaced at once if you have one or more torn grids. Another reason, again, you could have a cracked manifold um, or you could have a pop-up system that has a separate pump and you've been blowing stuff back into the pool. Those are pretty much the reasons why you have DE in your pool. How much, again, depends on how long you've been working with this process, all right? But again, I'm assuming that you have fixed whatever is causing your DE leak, okay? All right, so. Let's get to the three ways you can do this. All right, the first way is probably the simplest, although it is the most wasteful. And then the second two ways are kind of similar, so I'll describe those together in a moment. Let's talk about the first way. And again, remember, I'm assuming that you have fixed whatever the cause of the DE leak is in your pool, okay? So the first way, very, very much the most wasteful, drain your pool and refill it. Because when you drain your pool, you're gonna drain out all that DE water and the DE that's floating around because it's a dust, so it floats around in the pool. But when you, if you do that and you're willing to do that, then make sure that when you drain the pool, then you hose off the sides and the surface of the pool so that all the DE that sticks to the sides and the, and the, and the plaster or pebble tech of your pool is washed to the deeper spot of your pool and then you can pump that out so you don't have all that left over refilling your pool. Then once you've got that clean, refill your pool and you're back in business, do your startup chemicals, recharge your DE filter, excuse me, 
and you're back in business. Again, that is quite wasteful when it comes to water. Um, so I don't necessarily recommend it. I've never actually done it, especially here in Arizona, or if you live in a place like Arizona where there's, it's very hot, there's very little water or they're in drought conditions, um, then you probably don't wanna do that, all right? So, but that is the fastest way to do it, although it's the most wasteful. The other two ways have to do with vacuuming your pool. So number one, I'm assuming you either have a stay in the pool, suction side vacuum in your pool, or you will manually vacuum it, okay? Either way, you're vacuuming the DE out. If you have not seen my video on how to manually vacuum your pool, I will put a link to, the, to that video in the description below this video so you can watch it, because I'm not gonna describe how to do that process, I'm just gonna assume that you have watched that video and you're going to do it that way, okay? So, here's a couple things to remember. Number one, we're assuming that you fix the source of the DE leak, yes, okay? Number two, you are going to want to keep adding water to your pool because you're going to be vacuuming and backwashing, not recharging, vacuuming and backwashing numerous times. And so you're gonna burn through a lot of water, not as much as if you drained your pool, but you're gonna to need to keep your water level up. So you might wanna, and your autofill valve probably won't keep up with the vacuuming and the backwashing as frequently as you're doing it in this process. So maybe run a couple hoses in your pool so that you keep your, your water level at least, you know, halfway up covering the skimmer opening or two thirds of the way up just so that you have that ability to not drain your pool of water and then have it start sucking air instead of water, okay? All right, so the process works this way. Number one, backwash your filter, backwash your filter. However, and this is critical, do not, do not recharge your filter with fresh DE until you finish this entire process and your pool is completely cleared up, okay? Remember that, and I'll repeat that several times. Do not recharge your filter after backwashing it until the, the, the filter or your pool is completely cleared up, okay? So here's how the process works. If you have a stay in the pool vacuum or if you have a manual vacuum, okay? You're going to, with a manual vacuum, I like the idea of manual vacuuming it anyway. Um, even if you have a stay in the pool vacuum, you can attach the, the head of the vacuum um, to your, your existing vacuum, suction side vacuum hose and use that, okay? And you can also, because the reason I like the manual vacuum idea is because you can dedicate 100% of the suction to your vacuum head to vacuum it manually. You don't wanna do that with a suction side vacuum because too much suction on the vacuum itself could cause it to damage the vacuum or cause it to come out of the pool and you don't want that to happen. So again, regardless of what you're gonna do, you backwash the filter, do not recharge it. And then if you have a stay in the pool suction side vacuum, put a little additional suction to the vacuum and let it run. It's not gonna run very long until it accumulates that DE. Okay, if you manually vacuum it, then you're gonna dedicate 100% of the vacuum suction to, the vac to that vacuum hose, and you're going to manually vacuum the, 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 D, the bottom of the pool. And again, you notice that you're gonna be stirring up some of that D, so it's gonna float around, but just keep doing that, and you'll notice two things will happen. Number one, the pressure in your DE filter is going to go up, and you're going to start to lose some of the suction, all right? When that happens, that's telling you it's time to backwash the filter. So you go to the filter, you backwash it, do not recharge it, and then repeat that process. Vacuum or run the vacuum, pressure goes up, and you lose suction, stop, backwash, do not recharge, repeat, 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 okay? Now, the only thing I would say, remember, you're maintaining your water level. You gotta keep water into the pool, because like I said, you're backwashing quite a bit. However, the other thing that happens is because your vacuum is running or you're, you're vacuuming, you are stirring that up. And so a lot of that dust, the, the dust, the DE dust or powder is floating in, is suspended in the water. So sometimes on occasion, you might have to stop the process, turn your filter off, I mean backwash it, and then turn your filter off, turn everything off and let the dust, if you will, settle on the bottom of the pool, okay? And that will allow you to see what you have to work with and then go back to the vacuuming or using your vacuum, your pool vacuum to do the process. And you're gonna have to repeat that several times, okay? It might take a good day, it might take a couple days, all right? But after that, you'll start to notice your pool is getting clearer and then it'll be just a slight tinge of some of the, the DE powder floating around your pool. At that point, at that point, you can pretty much just backwash your filter one last time and then let it run, do not recharge it, and just let it run overnight or whatever. And again, I'm assuming that you've got the majority of it out, and so it's not gonna overfill your DE grids too quickly. 
and then you it kind of then once that happens it should be cleared up and once it gets clear enough to your liking and you might have to backwash it a couple more times if the pressure builds up once that happens then you can go ahead and say okay it's good then backwash it one last time recharge it and hopefully again like i said i'm assuming you fix the problem of the of the leak and then you're back in business and that's pretty much how it works now there's a couple uh options here if you have a pop-up, in-floor pop-up cleaning system, you can use the pop-ups to clean the DE out of the pool, although it might take a little longer. Same idea, the, the, the pop-ups are gonna blow the dust into the, suspend them in the pool water. The filter's gonna filter that out. The filter's gonna fill up, you have to backwash it, don't recharge it, same thing. And then just keep doing that until your pool clears up. It probably take, will take longer, because when you have a vacuum, you can, you can it, it's a lot more concentrated, you'll get a lot more DE out, especially if it settles to the bottom of the pool. Um, if you use a pop-up system, it takes a lot longer. However, note this, you can manually vacuum a pool if it has a pop-up system. You just plug the vacuum hose into the skimmer port and then you can vacuum it that way. But make sure if you're doing that, remember if your pop-ups have a dedicated pump for the pop-ups, turn that pump off. Don't run that while you're running the filter pump because if not, you're gonna, you're gonna blow some of that DE right back into the pool. So make sure that you use just the filter suction and the filter pump only if you, if you decide to manually vacuum your pool of the DE to clear it out if you have a pop-up system, all right? Okay, so there you have it, folks. That is my video on how to clear a pool that's full of DE. Remember, DE is not a healthy thing. If it gets in your eyes, it can cut the lens of your eyes, it can cut the inside of your eyelid. I've had that happen before, it is horrible. And if you've got a pool that's full, out of, full of it, you never wanna get into that pool until it's completely cleared out. Don't let kids get into it and things like that. It is a health hazard. Again, watch my video on DE filters and why you shouldn't have one. Um, it's in the description below this video. Also, again, not to leave you without options, sand filters are not the best option. They used to not be, but I found a sand filter substitute that works as good, if not better than DE, and it's guaranteed for the life of the sand filter, and you don't have to, back, uh, don't have to recharge it, and there's no hazardous DE. So watch that video. I'll put, it in, I'll put a link in the description below this video as well. Sand filter uh, substitute, Really watch that because, again, it'll give you an option in case you decide, hey, I don't want a DE filter anymore. I'm just going to replace it. Check out the sand filter. Check out that video. Like I said, I'm not talking about sand in the sand filter. I'm talking about a filter media substitute that replaces the sand. So check that out. Okay. All right. So there you go, folks. That's my video on how to clear out your pool from DE. I hope it made sense. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them in the comment section below this video. Also, you can email me directly. My email address will come across the bottom of the screen right here. As always, it is kennypoolschool at gmail.com. Once again, Kenny poolschool at gmail.com. Thanks for watching. Remember again to like, subscribe, and share. Don't forget to check out my membership website, poolschooler.com. And until we meet again, remember, have fun, be safe, and always watch those kids and elderly folk and pets around water. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.